because it changes it every time. So how are these um, caps attached? They just got nuts and bolts through with these wing nuts so you can, if you loosen the wing nut you can slide it like that to so change its position. So that's according to the size of your banisters really. So how have you attached that? Blue tack. So I'll put the penny on there. Made some nice holes in this so you can line it up. That's looking good. Yeah. You did it. Second time lucky. You don't want a two litre bottle full of water on your head. From so would you caution somebody who's trying to do yes, this? Yes, absolutely. What would you caution them towards? So when you make this thing, bear in mind it might collapse. Or break which, your banisters. Or break your banisters, in which case you'll have full two litre bottles dropping down from first floor height. Wonderful. Right. Well, that has to be taped onto oh. there. Tape. So, what are these spring like? They're just bits of. They're just a way of holding the drawing table above the above the sort of rocky thing. And wire's good because you can bend it into different shapes. So it have to be springy, or is it meant no, to be a no, rigid platform? No, it's rigid. Once they're all taped down, it'll be. I hope it'll be rigid. That one there. And so you just blue tacking it on? Yeah. It's got a nasty wobble on it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's wobbling like blazes. I think something's bashing into something. This is the point where we have the very unphotogenic, just sitting staring at it for about 10 minutes, trying to figure out what's wrong. Okay. I think this, this far bottle from me is it was jerking a little bit. Yeah, it was bashing into the banister. Clear now, is it? Just. Oh, that is way better. Yeah. That is what we're after. Right, on to the next stage. What's the next stage? It's to dangle two bits of string off the down the stairwell. Why? So that um, I can dangle two plastic bottles with water in down the stairwell. Okay, so then we instead of attaching the pen to that, we attach the pen to the two bits of string hanging down with the bottles. But what what are they? They like they're like they're going bean to go, poles or something. Be two of them, right? Yes, bean poles. And they're going to go. I'm going to like take them together like that and then they're going to go in you see that little crack down there yeah they're going to go one there yeah right like that but avoiding this thing right so it's and not the touching the other platform one is going to go there like that and they're going to cross in the middle and there's going to be two things to dangle bottles off. More like that. Uh, yeah. And is that going to bash into that thing? And then... What's going to stop them from just falling down? String. So 
from in between there. That's probably it. Looks mm -hmm. about right, doesn't it? Tight. And that's wobbly as anything that, but it might work. So two bits of string. And they've, got, they've got cleats on them. If you could tie that one to that one loop. And now finally we've got to attach our two bottles to the two strings. Is it strong enough? Uh, I don't know. That's not good, is it? Do we, what about, do we need to put so much water in these? Could we... Oh yeah. Yes. Why? Well, no actually. Probably no. Yeah, right, make them a foot shorter then. Because that's going to make them stronger, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the new pen holder. And these two sticks have to attach to the those white strings. The strings holding the pens, the um, bottles, sorry. Yeah, so... Oh look, we're going to be lucky. Right, so what so are these? These, like, push through the, the string and then you poke the, the thing through like this. <laughs> so we written about there, yeah? So you just push the pin through the string? That's right. Simple but effective. And that wants to be about the same height. Which could... I think I might have got it wrong, but let's try it. They go through there. And the other one. And they push through until it's over the drawing table. And that. Oops. Right, this is all good. So then we need counterweights on the. If you can put that on the end of that. Now you have to be so careful not to fall down the stairwell because it that ruins the whole thing. Supposing this is going up once a second, mm. then that thing has to go, say for example, once every two seconds, or once every three seconds, or once every four seconds. As in not every, every one and one and a bit seconds. That's right, exactly. So let's just try it, shall we, and see what, what we've got. Okay, here we go. I think that's made matters worse. Yeah, it has has exaggerated it. I know. What about what about having the strings going right down to the ground? So you've got very, very long strings. Yeah. Okay. That is dreadful, isn't it? That 
It's really... Why is it not working? Well, because it's not an exact multiple of the... Um, the two swings. Oh, that's hopeless, isn't it? That's much worse. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty close. That's two and a half. So, as always, Longer or shorter? What do you think, Al? Longer or shorter? Surely shorter. Well, I don't know. Might be longer. I have to get the other swing going at 66. Why 66? because it's exactly half of 112. Which is what the... What that's going at. So we start at one end and then um, uh, gradually change it. Well, make a big change and go from being too long to too short and then we know the right length is somewhere in the middle. Right. And then keep, you know, halving the difference. And the way to time it, apparently, is to get it when it's in the middle of its swing because it's moving the fastest and just sight it against some sort of datum mm -hmm. because that way you get it really precise whereas if you try and time it from the ends of the swing it, it sort of kind of hovers at the ends of the swings That's the other one. Is the needle not in the way? No, the needle's on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So do you know that the platform and the pendulum hanging over are going to oscillate at the same rate every Ta -da! single time? Nailed it. Yep. Looks like a quotation mark. A speech mark. <clears throat> what do you think, that? Where's See? all the hard work? Got it in one. Yeah. Maths. Maths. You might guess where the centre of maths is from the bottom of the bottle. <clears throat> Seven. Okay, so if it was one three five, one two eight. Now one two eight divided by four gives us the unit length, doesn't it? Of thirty-two. That's that's that distance divided by four. Mm. Okay, so multiply thirty-two by nine, and that should give us the next length. Two eight eight. Two eight eight. Okay. Yep, got it in one. Ah, you got your strap on it again. Gosh darn it. Okay, here 
because Oh, that's weird. That's a really weird pattern. That is strange. Isn't it odd? Oh, it's going a bit they're balanced, they're out of sync. Are they? Yeah, look. Yeah, that doesn't matter as long as they're going at the same speed. Really? Really, yeah. It's like a butterfly. There we are. That's a nice one. Okay, tidy up time.